if anybody has any advice or tips on these or common problems or just cool stories about them be sure to comment below all right so we're going to take a look at my model 30 combine today i've never got to run this yet i bought it last october and just didn't have a reason to mess with it yet um, i did you know hook it up after i got it and you know just run the pto for a minute and make sure it seemed to be functioning like it's supposed to um, i got it from an older gentleman that had it like 15 years and he had borrowed it from a buddy of his for like the 10 years previously it's one of those deals where you borrowed it and never returned it and so uh, he had used it on like five acres of wheat or soybeans um, just in a rotation for that 15 20 30 years and it always did him good so he says anyway um, it came with all the books and stuff on how to use it. So we're going to get in here. We're going to clean her out today. Make sure we're in good shape. I got her hooked up to the Super H. Take all the inspection covers off. We're gonna, we got some belts that don't look so great. I um, got some new belts. The expensive one looks like they've been changed. But we're going to see what we got. Put it through its paces a little bit. Getting ready for fall. Uh, I think we'll have beans done by early august probably and we're gonna have uh, an acre arrive before that so we uh, gotta get her all set and ready to go we'll be back in a second i'll we'll get some covers off we'll take some look at stuff forgive me if i don't know exactly what i'm talking about i'm kind of new to combines i've been around tractors a lot but this is my first combine so Probably not, but pretty clean in there. Looks like it was run on soybeans last. Oh, got a little trash in there still. Don't see anything major wrong with it. Oh, we got this all apart, and I don't see anything bad wrong with it. I guess it's, one of the reasons I got this is it doesn't have a canvas like a lot of the older ones or like um i was looking at some of the alice all crops like the all crop 60 and 72s and this one doesn't have that canvas so you don't have to worry about that expensive repair um i don't see anything drastically wrong with it i don't see any animals living in it which is also a giant improvement uh, lots of old nasty bean chaff and stalks and stuff and Looks like somebody was doing something at some point because we've got pipe wrench marks on a couple spindles here, or shafts, I mean. Um, I kind of got all the covers off and really don't see anything. Yeah, this looks about the same as it did on the other side. But uh, that belt looks okay. It'll last a little while yet. Got this one's new. This one's new. The big one here is new. This one looks like it could use replaced. And so does this inner one here, which looks like it'd be really fun to get to. Looks like you'd have to take half the combine apart to get to it. Well, there that is. Let's fire it up and see what we got going on.
Well, I guess we're going to button her back up now. Getting this all tidied back up. I'm going to start. I'm going to look for that squeaking noise. Sounds like I may have a bearing going out. I hope not. Well, like any old piece of equipment, it's got 15 bearings that probably need replaced, and it needs tires, and it needs greased, and you know the list goes on and on. It's rusted out in a thousand places and patched back together with pieces of rubber and diamond plate and self-tapping screws and you know it's well loved Some, but somebody cared about it enough to patch it up and keep it going and I don't expect to do 500 acres a year with it I expect to do 20 acres if that with it so hopefully it'll survive that and we can use it a few years without any major malfunctions um, gonna have to replace the duct tape here duct tape patching the rust hole it's a little thin under there have to replace that to use it much but you know it's one of those things you know nobody ever really shows the implements as much it's all about the tractors it's all about plowing and having fun and all this and nobody ever talks about you know pull type combines and you know sickle bar mowers and all the the other things that were used right alongside the tractors the tractors would be useless without the implements so you know i'm uh always enjoy watching the combines at the shows and the pickers so I'm excited to have my own one to get to try out. Hopefully we'll get to have some fun this year with this one.